I just took a big ass Ooh, it smells like hell in there. See you later, Satanas. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another story time. It's It's been a while since I've done one. Or is this the first time that I've done one? Today in my story time, I'm going to be telling you the story of the time I almost found the perfect girl. My best friend Maya knows who this is. My best friend Christian knows who this is. And I've got to say, they hate her too. Well, I don't know about Maya, but Maya, you better hate her. You better hate her because I hate all your ex-boyfriends. I'm going to be telling you that uh, uh, this chick that I, met, that I met, I thought she was a perfect girl. She, it's not because she decided to choose some other idiot who was not who was worse than me, uglier than me, and he probably doesn't even like baseball. I could have liked the Angels just so I can make her like me a little bit more. But no, I'm a I'm a diehard Dodgers fan. Just diehard Dodgers fan. One more point of proof that I'm a diehard Dodgers fan. Diehard Dodgers fan. OG jersey, amazing. I know, right? I got the I got this one before freaking um, Majestic stopped making their jerseys for the MLB. She even she she was so perfect that I let it slide that she liked the Angels. That 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 was the only imperfect thing about her. Another imperfect thing about her. She drove a Lexus. Why? If you know me perfectly, you you should know that I I'm not a big fan of Toyota, Scion, or Lexus. Subaru, it's okay. It's better than Toyota. Everybody knows I'm a diehard Honda fan and Acura fan. And occasionally Ford. But if I were to choose between Ford and Honda, it's gonna be Honda. Angels. Lexus. Well, now this is what I get for starting a dating profile on a dating app. Even though, you know, Maya guided me perfectly well. It's not your fault, Maya. It's, it's, it's hers. It's just not even my fault. It's her fault for not choosing me. I mean, who the fuck wouldn't want to choose me? Look, look at me. Amazing, but you will never see me making another dating profile ever again. Oh, okay, match. Oh, wait, she's a tranny. Want to go out? So here's how I went. I started my profile maybe on a Wednesday. No, I started my profile on Tuesday. I started swiping on Wednesday because my best friend Maya, uh, she helped me create this profile, and uh, she did a perfectly good job. Uh, she knew everything about me. She knows per she knows me perfectly, even though we like barely met like on the year before. She knows me perfectly. So um, yeah, she doesn't. She may not know me every perfect thing about me, like every exact detail about me and maybe neither do I but we're pretty good friends we're best friends and we get each other we understand each other I'm just gonna tell you like the, the story the story of how I got my heart broken <laughs> back to the story Maya ended up helping me create the profile everything pre pretty good she chose the pictures for me she even took some pictures of me shut the f up train there you go that was the longest horn I ever heard not even Thomas the Train does that to me. And then I started swiping on a few girls. Now here's the thing about this profile. So this about this uh, dating app. Only the girl can start the conversation. So that kind of sucks, right? <laughs> Shut up. Two girls swiped on me, and time was about to run out on one of them, uh, on, on both of them. So I had to choose which one um, I was gonna, you know, try to con conversate with if they wanted to uh, talk to me. One of them lived not that far away from me, and one of them didn't uh, live the in Davis, like the city next to next to Woodland. Right, and then um, so I, I chose the chick from Davis. So I extended her her hours because you can do that on this on on this specific dating app. I only did it because like you know what I, I, I'll do it, and you can only do one. And I was like, you know, she's pretty. She likes Star Wars and everything. And uh, like two hours later, she started talking to me, and we started a pretty good conversation. We ended up talking about Star Wars, favorite foods, and stuff like that. Talking about Legos, Indiana Jones, Adam Sandler, Ariana Grande, uh, music, lots of different type of music, and uh, it was a pretty good conversation. We had a pretty good connection. So we went from talking to each other on a Saturday all the way to Wednesday where I decided, you know what, I'm going to ask her out. Uh, Maya was like, okay, nice. Maya, Maya thought that the conversation was going pretty good, so uh, Maya was like, Pretty nervous. Like, what if she says no? And she's is she Maya. Maya's pretty. Egg. Maya you should consider making a business of like getting people together. Matchmaker. I'm a genius, right? I asked her out on Thursday. Actually, no, she didn't reply to me on Thursday. Uh, and I were, and I asked her out on a Friday. So the whole plan was for me to ask her out, take her on a date on a Sunday, right? And uh, or Saturday. I don't remember. But she said yeah. She replied to me a little bit late. Uh, right after I came back from breakfast. So. She responded and she said, yeah, she'd love to. And uh, we ended up moving the conversation into uh, an application, social media app called Snap, and then came the, the day of the date. I was super fucking nervous. We ended up, uh, meet up uh, meeting up in da downtown Davis and we hit it off. We hit it off. Amazingly, perfectly fucking fun. I, I enjoyed the date. She was, she was looking fucking fine. She was looking fucking fine as hell, dog. She had a nice booty and everything. And of course, she was checking out my booty because, you know, because, you know, 
<laughs> she wanted the booty. <laughs> Wait, that sounds weird. We ended up walking around all of for da downtown Davis and UC Davis. We got to know each other pretty good. It was amazing. So the date started around 7. We ended up ending it at 10.50. I asked her if she wanted to go on a second date. We scheduled it for the next week. We were like, right, let's go go-karting. She had a little challenge on her dating profile that she said, um, beat me at a go-kart race and I'll give you my phone number. I'll get to that part later. Next day, I go to work. We start talking. We start talking a little bit of um, smack to each other. It's like, no. Nah, I'm gonna win the race. <laughs> you know, that little um flirting, flirting type style. And she took it. I was like, she's she's taking the bait. <laughs> yeah, I'm buying myself a girl. Uh Wednesday, I ended up getting fired from a job. Unfairly fired, I'm gonna say. I'm not even gonna make story time for this shit because it's not worth it. It's not worth my time. I told her, hey, I got fired, and she called me. And we talked on the phone for for maybe like five hours and it was great. I I, I appreciated that so much that uh that I was like, wow, no, no other girl would have probably called me and uh talk to me uh about girls and like girl i'm trying to get at my best friends and would have yeah they they talk because uh, christian uh took me to play soccer uh that that same day just to like take out my anger and my my uh um took me out of tacos not not too not too like a few weeks later uh so we can talk about it and uh yeah it was pretty good but no she we she she connected with me and then the next day i started job hunting and then the next day after that on a friday we ended up talking on the phone and uh i i mentioned something guys Little piece of advice, when she says something like, I'm making breakfast, always find a way to make it interesting, like the conversation interesting. So that morning, she said she was making um, pancakes, and I said, oh, I had those tres leches pancakes. She didn't know those ex those existed. So my idea was like, fuck, I gotta take her to IHOP now. So I called her that that night, um, right after she got off work, and after I tried job hunting, and uh, I was like, hey, you you doing anything tomorrow? Wanna go to, wanna go to IHOP Saturday morning? In the morning, we can do something else after, the, after eating and stuff, we can hang out. We, we, so, you know, she said, yeah. And I was like, hey, date number two. Date number two started off pretty good. I ended up having to, I was tight on money already. So I had a, I had a sacrifice. Thanks, bitch ass battery for interrupting me. I had to replace the other battery. So I got to recharge you again. It's just a rechargeable one. So it doesn't really have that much power. Whee! Like I was saying, I couldn't find a parking spot. So I ended up like staying in the middle of the road. And then I went into her apartment, picked her up. She came out looking fine as hell. Fine. I'm saying fine as hell. Booty shorts. Tank top. I think I'm describing another date. Hold on one second. One of those sweaters, like one of those oversized sweaters that girls like to wear. She's looking fine as hell. Fine as hell. Oh wait, it was a tank top. <gasps> it was her. And uh, we we ate breakfast. We went to we went to I we would drove to I I drove to IHOP and we ate breakfast. We drew a little bit. We asked for paper to draw. Well, she asked for paper. I didn't really ask for it, but we. We ended up drawing. We ended up playing uh, tic tac toe. Uh, she's a really she's a really good drawer, um, and uh, it it was a fun day. Uh, after the breakfast, we went back to her apartment. She she had to pick up something, and then we went to Fairfield for a Dave and Buster. And uh, we were at Dave and Buster's, and she beat me at everything. And I was like, God damn it! She's really good at, at arcade games. Uh, the only thing she didn't beat me was at skee ball and uh, basketball. Uh, and ba connect for basketball. She sucks at those, but she's really good at every other game. And uh, right at Damon Busters, we ended up playing like the final game we were playing. We ended up playing this. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but we got like some cards out of it. And uh, I got a uh, one card, and she ended up getting one card. We ended up trading because like, why not? All right? I'll give you mine, you give me yours. Kind of like an STD. And uh, and you're probably saying you always threw it away. No, I kept it. Because it reminds you of a really nice date. And then we ended up going to Starbucks. And, uh, of course I paid for everything. Except the Starbucks. She she had some gift cards, so she she paid for it. And I was okay with that. I'm okay with the girl paying sometimes. I'm okay with that. Um, it's it's, it's hard to do let a girl pay. Because uh, I have been I was raised with chivalry. So always pay. Always be the gentleman. So always open the door. Always pay. Always pull the chair. Always push the chair. Stuff like that, right? Respect the woman, you know? That's my way. And I'm gonna I'm keep it going through the generations. Teach little kids, I'll be like, hey, kid, don't smack a girl's booty like that until she gives you her permission to smack it, okay? Watch this. Hey, fine not, let me, let me smack your booty. And and then we and then I got home. It was a morning date that started from like 10 a.m. and then up then ending at 2 p.m. So yeah, cause she had to go to work and uh, it was okay. I didn't really want to spend my whole day with her, you know? Cause I'm, that'd be weird, you know? We started a date. And then uh, we, like a week later after, the week after her birthday, so I got her a birthday present. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a box of Legos, like a Star Wars of her favorite character. She already had the set. Uh, I didn't know that, but she ended up telling me that. And uh, she said, I'll, I'll keep it and uh, we'll get built, we can build it together. So I was like, okay, there is going to be a, a, another date. And uh, I think 
the thing that I regret the most was probably not taking Maya's advice. I don't regret it anymore, but at that time I did regret it probably. Uh, Maya told me to act to just, hey, make it official at that date. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take Maya's advice next time. We ended up going to Sunsplash, not, no, uh, Golf Land Sunsplash. So we ended up playing mini golf, we ended up playing go-kart. I didn't win, sadly. I would've gotten on the rematch, but oh, God damn it, it's expensive as hell. We drove back to Woodland and we, we shared our first kiss and our only kiss. And I was so, I was like, all right, in two weeks, uh, she said she couldn't go out this weekend. So I was like, all right, next weekend we can, uh, we can go, shut up Siri, we can go out and I'll make it official. When, when, we, sh when we shared our first kiss, I, I looked in her eye and I was like, she enjoyed it. That doesn't, but that didn't mean, obviously because she enjoyed it doesn't mean that she wanted to be with me. Because, uh, maybe like two weeks later, and then two weeks later after that amazing first, shit, I can't even tell you. <laughs> And then two weeks later, after that, um, that third date, uh, she broke my heart! Fuck you! <laughs> okay, enough. Anyways, moral of the story! Uh, she's a dick! Yeah, she's, she was a dick. Uh, she said, she, she said, uh, she didn't really have time for a relationship. Ladies, 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 a piece of advice. Don't lie. It makes it worse because lying hurts more than telling you the truth. If she should have said, "Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I lost interest. I got to somebody else," she she should have said that instead of saying, "I don't have time for a relationship." No nope, can do not at all. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Maya, if you're seeing this video, please. We gotta do a video together. I don't know, a challenge, whatever you want. Let's do a video a skit. I just really want to be in a video with you because you are my best friend. And okay, why not? I miss you. I haven't seen you since that taco day. What the hell? So uh, yeah, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go fucking eat because I'm hungry as hell. Yeah.